but also using his legs. Daniels completes his first throw of the night and it goes to Jack Pesh. Third and five. Daniels quick to the outside incomplete through the hands of Kyron Lacey. Ahead of a chain. That'll be a first down for the Aggies. Opposite the last couple days. Wigman sets up the screen. Here's Green as he strides it out for a gain of nine. A chain bounces it to the left and goes ahead for 10 yards before he is taken down by Jay Ward. There it is. And with that, A chain is able to get ahead for a gain of three yards and another Texas A&M first down. Really been beautiful thing to start. A chain makes a man miss and then darts into the end zone. Devon A chain and the Aggies touchdown. Hey everyone, Wheels here with a quick reminder to subscribe as we're trying to reach 400,000 before the start of the college baseball season, which begins February 17th, 2023. Thank you and enjoy the video. So much more comfortable than he was at the early going. Here's Emery on second and 10 and look at Emery as he was able to drag a defender, Antonio Johnson with him. Third and one. Emery, no muscle ahead for a first down. Daniels quickly to neighbors. Daniels utilizing the blocks inside the 10 and spinning his way inside the five. First and goal, Tigers. Let's play every time. Emery straight ahead, reaching out for that goal line, and they are going to mark him just short. Before the ball was snapped, replay initiated a review of the previous play. The ruling on the field was that the runner was short of the goal line. Ooh, it does look like he might have crossed the plane. After video review, it is a touchdown. Touchdown, the Tigers. Ball, the ball was reversed. Line, the was down. It's Joe Milton, the third at quarterback for Tennessee after Hooker suffered that horrible injury. Wigman gets it complete as he connects with Muhammad. And that was good effort by Moose Muhammad. Bonding with a nice performance so far. Wigman, he's seven for seven to start the game as he goes to Muhammad again and another first down. A chain. I'll have the first down as he's torn down by Garner. Count for number 40 on the bottom of your screen. Wigman. Has to try to escape, looking for a block, and he gets it. Three-man rush, they drop eight. Wigman with a man in his face, going to the back of the end zone, incomplete, was trying to find the six-foot-four Donovan Green. And he puts it through to break the tie tonight. Second and eight as he hooks it up for a first down to Neighbors. And Neighbors has that quick burst as soon as he turns the corner. And M trying to just keep the ball in front of him a bit. Daniels. As he gets it complete to Kayshawn Booty. Daniels. Won't have to worry about that as he goes to Neighbors again. Third down and two. Daniels. Lacey couldn't hold on to it. Incomplete. And he just sneaks it through for that South Carolina program to come up with that win. A chain look at the open space he has past midfield and finally wrapped up and taken down by Fouché. Third and 12 now for the true freshman Wigman. Going to try to run for it and he's going to get it. Let's see where they mark him on that slide. Where did he initiate that slide? Of two man there by Wigman and picking up the first down. And now Wigman, as he gets it complete to Stewart, freshman to freshman. A chain. Stiff arm, and again, and a cutback inside the 
10 and kept his footing inside the five. Oh, a little bit of everything from A-Chain. For the Aggies, Wigman drifting back and getting it into the hands of Donovan Green for the touchdown. Flag is down back at the 16-yard line. The result of the play is a touchdown. Pushing the foul, working the passer, defense, number 18. That 15-yard penalty will be enforced on the kickoff. Really wasn't the offense's fault there in the first half. It didn't have much to show for it. Second and six. Daniels with plenty of time. You know how dangerous he is with his feet as he easily gets the first down and saw an old miss and how good the offense of Mississippi State would be. And yet these Tigers play for the SEC championship next week with a great powerful run from Noah Kane there. Third and one. Emery able to find that crease and gets inside the 20 yard line. First down LSU. Second and 10. Emery straight ahead and right in. John Emery with the 19 yard touchdown run for the Tigers. Watch these three defenders and notice that their eyes are all on Jaden Daniels. Watch, they stay wide as a result of his presence and how he can pull it. Ball's out, ball is loose, it is scoop. Richardson's gonna return it. Touchdown Aggies, Damani Richardson. Edgerin Cooper forced it out. Damani Richardson brought it back. And remember Richardson had one of the wild plays of the year, that 97-yard fumble return touchdown against Arkansas. Joel Perkins on the sideline, by the way. Second and one. Fighting for just one extra yard tonight. Amari Daniels will change that. Good stiff arm and then a burst of speed. Out injured down to the true freshman Dewberry who's got a bright future and now this gets into the hands of Evan Stewart. And having a nice completion. Another one of the big five stars that made up the number one class in the country. Look at Daniels go. Amari Daniels chunk play Aggies. Fourth quarter upset minded Aggies up a touchdown on number five. And how Moose Muhammad, one-hander, my oh my! We got something bubbling up here in Aggieland, folks. And how about this catch? It's pretty well covered for the most part by Ryan. Here comes the pressure from LSU. They pick it up. Wigman downfield wants more, and he gets it. And it's Muhammad again. Moose Muhammad has come up huge. Third down and three. A chain trying to get to the outside, and he does. And he spins free of Baskerville. Oh, what a night for A chain. First down, Aggies. The running yards and now the Aggies want more and here he goes for it and gets it a chain again and now that hole that LSU is in is a crater Katie and his manifested himself on the scoreboard Jaden Daniels Able to get away for a moment and then turn on the speed and slide down near midfield. Turns it for the touchdown. Change the game completely. Change the energy. 31-14. It's been year. The kind of year where you figure the late happenings, things that happen. Daniels. 
somehow able to get free, keep his balance inside the five yard line for first and goal. In their eyes. Not at all. Emery straight ahead for a touchdown. They wasted no time coming right down the field to score the touchdown. John Emery. Daniels, two point try. He's trying to get rid of it right at the end, and then he was taken down with run of the ball and physicality. A chain continues to get the workload here under five minutes to go. And Daniels sparks something late. Goes underneath to Noah Kane. That's a first down as he continues carrying the defender right to midfield. Three man rush against Daniels. Incomplete flag is down as he was trying to connect with Mason Taylor. Holding defense number seven. Second and two. Daniel's going to launch it downfield, and it's out of bounds and well beyond Taylor, and a flag is down at the 15-yard line. Holding defense, number 17. To stay alive. Fourth down, Daniels to the end zone. Corner of the end zone, incomplete. Jeray Jenkins gave it his best shot. We'll take the ball. Rolling on the field is an incomplete pass. Man, it was so First close. Down. It was Texas a great a look for LSU. Did look like Jenkins kind of secured the catch. Does he get a foot down? But as you see, as he goes to the ground, the ball comes free, and you have to be able to maintain control all the way through the catch. It's a really close call in the back of the end zone. After video review, the ruling on the field of the incomplete pass stands. One timeout remains for LSU. A chain on third and eight gets it. And adds more. Just a spectacular night for A chain. He has 201 yards. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider hitting that subscribe button as we're trying to reach 400K by the start of college baseball on February 17th, 2023. Thank you.